going to throw a spanner in the works. Khan often starts so quickly and so often his opponents seem to be almost frozen in admiration of his work. Lemond, a good technician, he's got acute defence usually, but he's punished as he misses with that right hand. First little clubbing shot from Khan and a good body shot as well. Well, both boxers started exactly how I thought they might. Khan just being a little bit more cautious. You know, he's in against the champion in Liman. Liman looks very confident, looks absolutely steadfast at the moment. Well, he certainly didn't look at all phased by any of this, Liman, in the build-up to it. Looked very cool and composed, a good shot from Khan. That's at the way in but also at that way in it was evidence that Khan is physically maturing into a terrific athlete. And here goes the action hotting up in the very first round. Khan trying to work away to the body. Landed a nice right-handed Khan. Lemon took it pretty well. But he's got a good chin as Willie Lemons, we know that. You don't get the sort of professional record that he's got, 28 wins and one defeat, without being a capable operator. And he believes that as a lightweight, he's a very much better fighter than he was earlier in his career when he lost that British title fight to Alex Arthur as a super featherweight. He's moved up now to the nine stone nine division and says he feels more comfortable there, punching harder there and feels stronger. Well, he's certainly going to be stronger, but he's got the speed to match Khan which is what his strengths is, his speed and his footwork, it's another question. He had to dig deep, did Lemon, to win this title last November when he beat Kapatko Lotti. Lotti a real tough cookie, and it was a good performance. There again you see the hand speed of Khan. His detractors say we have not really see him hit on the whiskers. How good's his chin? Khan believes that he's not had the credit that he deserves and that he will try and shut his critics up tonight. Well, he's using good speed at the moment just to keep Limon thinking. Khan's not jumping around the ring like he normally does. He's planting his feet, trying to get maximum power on every punch he throws. Opening period, I should tell you, incidentally, that there's a programme on ITV4 on Thursday at 9pm. Khan, his story so far. I wonder what this latest episode is going to bring. Lemon doing a good job. Yeah, Lemon doing a good job. He's matching Khan. Intriguing. Just another diamond in, just a blade of Flex from T-Mobile is constantly adapting to give Flex customers our best deal and now offers free evening and weekend UK calls. Come in store to find out more. You can go to great lengths to avoid athlete's foot and kill the spores that cause it, but Dactarin Active Spray Powder can easily prevent the problem. It targets like a cream, dries like a powder and can even protect you from further attacks so your feet stay healthy. Dactarin Active Spray Powder. Spray athlete's foot away. Well, Willie Lennond gave Amir Khan something to think about in that opening round, as we suspected that he would. Khan's in a real fight, and Lennond has shown that he is cute enough to get to Khan. Khan keeping his gloves very high there. And Billy Nelson coach for Willie Lemon for the first time, head coach, since Peter Harrison moved away, saying, you've got to throw your jab, work behind your jab, but then follow up with those cute right hands, which we saw evidence of in the closing seconds of the first round. Well, the tactics of both boxes are quite obvious. Khan wants to get up to a, a quick start, use his speed and his skill to get himself into a, a handy point sleeve. Lemon will want to try and weather the early storm and take him into the second half of the fight. A good little exchange. There are some people around, you know, some seasoned journalists who've been following this sport a long time, 
who say that although Khan wants this world title so quickly, that Limon has actually come a little bit too quickly, and that the learning process should have continued longer before he got at Khan. Caught just off balance there. I think any great damage done. See the concentration etched across the face of Limon. so determined that he'll give the best account of himself possible on this, the biggest stage of his life. Khan landed nice right hands. Oh, and Lemon just going right into the face of Khan, trying to rough him up, trying to throw hurtful hooks of his own inside. And tight defence, keeping those right crosses from Khan at bay. Dimmons going to have to start moving his head and missing some of the jabs that Khan's catching him with. He, he will start to mark up around the face. It was body shots which pretty much did for Lindon when he fought Alex Arthur. So softened up with attacks, hooks to the body. Can't speed the deciding factor at the moment, John. That's a smart right hand counter there. Over the top of Lemon's intended left hand lead. Khan, one of the golden boys of British sport, emerging young talent. And probably doing enough to win this second round. Good shot. Oh, caught right on the bell. Because every bottle of Bulmer's original cider is chill-filtered at zero degrees when it's made, each one follows a natural instinct risking everything to make it back to the ice and the way it was born to be. Cold, crisp, fresh, safe at... Oh! <laughs> Bulmer's Original. Born for ice. Come on, drivers! Challenge Churchill! My kid, I saved £74 pounds on the insurance for my car. Oh, yes! Two rounds gone. This is a 12-rounder. There's a good shot in there. Willie Limond has landed some solid blows. And right on the bell, he caught Khan with a really good right hand, which rocked back the youngster's head. Oh, good right hand again from Limond. Showed him the left and then a little chopping right. Well, it's, it's good, intelligent boxing, as you would expect from someone with 29 fights, with just solid 3D defeat. He knows his way around this ring. Khan's got to just do what he normally does, not get cocky or flash. Just needs to stick to his boxing. Stay out of the early trouble. And smiling after you've taken a right hand is a sure indication that you've been hurt. Lemon tying Khan up pretty adeptly and close, not allowing the youngster to work with those big hooks. And seeing the swings coming from way off, that's a nice right hand from Lemon. There's a little bit of bleeding from the nose of Lemon, which they were attending to behind round, between rounds. A little bit of a nick around the corner of his left eye as well. Evidence of the accuracy of that left hand lead of Khan. Oh, a nice counter from Limond. Well, he's reading the right hand that Khan was catching him with in the previous round, and he's slipping it now. So the further it goes, the more he'll grow in confidence, perhaps. That's a good body shot from Khan. Nice, sweet counter from Limond. 
Well, the champion giving an excellent account of himself. But come meeting him with nice little flurries. Limond already showing that he's got a good enough chin to stand up to much of what's coming his way. Now has he got the seasoned pros boxing now to stay with Carl? Seems almost strange that we've got to say that Limond's got to fight the fight of his life to win this fight, but that's exactly what he has to do. With, 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 you know, with, with all the victories that he has behind him, you know, he should know this ring inside out and know what it takes to win. Interesting third. The sense that Lemon's starting to really fancy this one. Far superior to our own. The battle for our freedom begins. Transformers. All I need is me and a friend, and the talking to go on and never to end. Talk for hours with unlimited calls or text on Orange Pay Monthly. Life as you like it. Billy Nelson giving words of advice for Willie Limond. And look at the way he was sent off. He's still, still there. He can't wait to get it, Carl. I thought he did enough to get a share of that last round. Maybe that's looking at it through Khan type spectacles. Maybe there'll be plenty there who reckon that uh, Willie Limond maybe even won that round. 12 rounder, remember this one. Good lead from Limond. Good hand speed from the Scot. Well, if Lemon could pull this off, it would be like winning the lottery for him. Well, he's getting the biggest payday of his career as it is. Lemon's right eye starting to bruise up. He's got that sort of angular face which always shows the marks of combat. He just landed a lovely overhand right on Khan. Some of Khan's Ka Ka punches now are falling short. Khan was full of respect for Limond in the route to this. He said he's a good boxer, and Limond's showing that. He's trained long and hard as well, Limond. Ten weeks he's been away preparing for this. Got himself into the shape of his life, he says, and indeed is Khan. Nice little exchange. Again, calm speed, just the deciding factor at this present moment in time. Hand speed is what's winning the fight for him. Oh, that's a quality shot. Crowd absorbed by this one. So often we've seen Amir Khan just blow his opponents away. Something's almost seems to happen to them on the his opponents on their way into the ring. They talk a good fight beforehand, but then get in there and find it's an altogether different story. But Limond has got the skill and experience to carry his form in there. But also what you find in the early part of your career, you get knockouts. You know, right hand from Lemon there, and Khan just wanted to hold on for a moment. That right hand, I think Khan felt that, and he's beckoning Lemon in now, as much as to say, come on, let's have a bit more of it. But that right hand, that downward punch from Lemon, was the best shot that he's landed in this fight so far. As you move up in class, the knockouts become fewer. Really fancying that right hand, he's going looking for Khan. Oh, 
fascinating round, and Limond arguably his best so far. Anything is accessible. The Jeep Grand Cherokee with a smooth V6 diesel and Quadra Drive 2. It grips off the road and performs on the road from 26,590 pounds. Jeep Grand Cherokee, a legend off-road, affordable on-road. Words of advice for Amir Khan in Willie Lemon's corner. They're saying, you're the champion, fight like a champion. And Khan's losing his speed and take the speed away and there's not so much left. Well, is that just words? Is that just bravado aimed to raise Lemon on to another level? That's pretty good advice, I'd imagine. Just a little bit ragged as he tries to get inside with those hooks. Nice tight defence from Lennon. Giving Khan plenty of plenty of problems as he tries to land those overhand rights. How did you score that last round? Did you, did you give it to Lemon? I did give it to Lemon. Only just, but I, I give him the round. Clear oh, round. Good right hand again from Lemon. Timing that right hand pretty well. Can't take a reasonable shot, OK? Lemon's not the biggest puncher in the world, but he's getting through. Khan was telling me that his shirt size has gone up to 17 inches. That's for a lad who weighs, uh, what, nine stone nine, is a mighty big shirt. Gives them away to some of the lads in his gym, and I think uh, younger brother Harry is going to be the uh, best-dressed young lad in Bolton before too long. Can't still winning the fight with, with the hand speed. Just snappy of boxing. Just a little bit busy than Lemon. Lemon's looks like his right eye's got a bit of a swelling underneath it. Yeah, he got that a couple of rounds ago, and they're working away at that between rounds with the with the iron to flatten out the bruising. But Willen, Willie Lemon, full of ambition, full of desire to prove himself. This is his big stage as well, let's not forget that. Biggest fight of his life. Waiting too long. And Calm's long arms were able to keep him at bay. Nice body shot from Calm. Stepped to the side and landed a good solid hook. And back comes Lemon with some some of his own. Only the second time that Willie Lemon's actually fought outside Scotland. Trevor Smith at your call way back in 199 sub of the day from Subway. The price you want. The fresh baked bread you want. And made the way you want it. Every single day. Subway. Subway. Eat, Eat fresh. fresh. Well, Amir Khan's winning this fight, at least on our corner. 
but having said that, Lemond is right in there. And the Scots was being told by his corner, now let's try and step up the pace and see if he could go with you. And as you do so, try and work away to the body with hooks. Well, this is where you would have thought that Lemon's experience will start to tell in the second half of the fight. We're about to find out just how well Khan has developed. Good uppercut from Khan that launched that particular flurry of blows. Lemon takes it well, though. It's Khan at the moment has been the more imaginative, looking to step to his right to land the right hand, give himself the angle to throw the shot. Khan respectful though. Oh, and he's caught, he's caught by left hand, and the right is a left hook that did the damage, and Khan goes down. He's saying he's been pushed, but he's down. That is the knockout. That spells danger time for Khan, and he's still, still looking unsteady. What's all this about? Well, he's yeah. in danger land now, and Lemon's looking to take him out. The right hand lands again, and Khan, if he takes another big shot here, could be taken out. He's holding on and trying to cling on for all he is worth. The right hand came right round, Lemon's been trying it for the last three rounds, finally landed it. And he gets in with an uppercut, and Carl has got to get his gloves up. Well, this is where the experience now of Limon might just tell. His family are all on their feet at ringside on the far side of the ring there. He's gone. And Limon, I think, is looking to take him out. Khan, a little bit of kidology, saying something to Limon, but Limon, the canny pro from Scotland, might be about to burst a very, very significant bubble. John Khan doesn't know where he is right now. He's been defiant. Oh, a huge right hand from, Lim from Lemon. So he's been absolutely defiant and trying to psych himself, talk himself back into the fight. He's talking all the time in there, but I think as much to himself as to Willie Lemon, who's had that knockdown. This is going to be a 10-8 round for Lemon, unless something spectacular happens in the last 30 seconds, and that puts the Scot right in it. His corner said, step up the pace, so let's see if he can go with it. And the answer at the moment is that he's not been able to. Khan still looks on unsteady legs to me. But Khan doing the right thing, looking to his corner for instruction. Wasn't quite sure where he was. It will be a 10-8 round, John. Oh, that's better from Khan. Well, that is extraordinary. At first, you could argue, well, he's been down before in his career, but that's really the first genuine knockdown of his career. And Oliver, Carr, Oliver Harrison came sprinting out of the corner, hurling water at Khan. And let's now hear what he's saying. Look at me. This is what I'm saying to you. You're trying too hard, man. You're trying too hard. You don't need to. That's trying not... too hard. Left hand, right hand. And then that big shot, Duke, and he was all over the place for a good three-quarters of a minute after that. Well, he'd been trying it, you know, from about the second or third round on. You know, Khan has always been a little bit suspect to carrying his left hand low and was found out. Well, that is going to be one of the sporting images, if not the sporting image of the weekend. Khan there is all over the place. Khan's on his feet in that corner. Marked up around the eyes. Not listening too much, I'm not sure, in that corner. Let's hope he is, because there is a long way in this fight to go. It's a 12-rounder, and this is round seven. Well, this is where Khan really has to try and show his class, calling the amateur pedigree that he has, the high pedigree that he had, I should say, and try and just outbox Limond. OK, this is professional boxing, and anything goes. Lemon knows what to do and how to finish a fight. Let's see if he can do that. Khan, for my way of looking at it, has got to get more lateral movement because as he comes forward in straight lines, he is a sitting target for that right hand. That's been the damage shot. Well, he's got to be... box his way through here. Sorry, Duke, it's he's got to box fault. his way through here now and try and rely on that hand speed but you can see the nervousness all over him as he's beaten with that jab once again 
He's tense. Oliver Harrison was saying you're trying too hard. Well, can't start a throw, don't hit me punches. Doesn't want to get too close to Limon. He's had a taste of the right hand. He's got to box him at range. He's got to box him at range and keep him at range. You can see the urgency in Lemon's eyes. Can sense victory. He's like a bloodhound at the moment. Remember, Willie Lemon has done the 12 round distance before. Khan has never been there. If it goes the 12 round distance, he'll be into uncharted territory. Good right hand from Khan. And Lemon now has to give a little bit of ground. Lemon just looked a little bit shaky there. Some of Khan's critics have said, let's see him in a real fight. This is a real fight. Trust me. Oh, good uppercut from Khan. Great right hand. He's turned it round. The right hand did it. Detonated on the chin of Lemon. And now it's one knockdown apiece. Well, what a response from Khan. He's had to dig in and he's had to answer the critics with, a, with his overhand right. Lemon's at sixes and sevens. He's all over the place. But he's got experience to hold on and try and weather this storm. Hands all around this auditorium on their feet and Khan's looking to finish this. He senses that this fight could end here. The head's boring in, referee Marcus McDonnell taking a close look. Oh, what a fight this has turned out to be. And Khan now tags him once more. Dangerous moments for Lyman who's hanging on desperately. Can he see it through to the end of the seventh round? Terrific response from Khan, that right uppercut that he slammed into the head of Lennon was class. And when you think where he was, not three or four minutes ago, barely knowing where he was, Amir Khan, he has shown something of a champion's resolve in coming back. Well, what a response and what a round for Amir Khan. And now anxious moments for Willie Lennon and for his trainer, Billy Nelson. That's the response of the Khan fans. Deep breath. You OK? Well, look at me. Hello, how you are, man? Right, OK. That uppercut was a terrific shot, Duke. It was absolutely punch perfect from Khan. There's only one way to answer critics when you've been on the deck, and that's to get up and deck your opponent, and that's exactly what he did. And down went Limond. And from there on, it was one-way traffic in Khan's direction. He looks hurt. Right? I'm fucking right. he okay? I'm he's right. saying he's all right, so I'm not too sure. You've got, I don't think you've got everything. Khan's on his feet already and sensing that this fight could end here in the eighth round. I wonder, how much has Limond got left? Well, I think the knockdown has been far more detrimental to Lemon than the Khan knockdown was to him. Lemon's face is battered and bruised, swelling over both eyes, mouth bleeding quite profusely now. Oh, good shot again. Really good quality left hand from Khan. He's starting to open up now. But he's got to be careful that he doesn't leave himself wide open because he's looking for that bingo punch, looking to put Lemon's lights out. Well, it's the left hook that he's trying to tee off on. And then right through this fight, it's the right hand which has been the danger punch for Lemon. Khan now is landing power shots with almost every blow he delivers. He's got to be careful he doesn't punch himself out. He needs to pick his punches just a little bit better. Pep the jab and look for the right hand. Bring the left uppercut into play. Both boxers are tired. Both boxers are hurt. Who has the best resolve? Who can dig into the trenches? What a dramatic fight this has turned out to be. Not all sorts of traffic problems here in London, in the south of England. A lot of fans had a long battle to get here in time for this. But those who've made it have been rewarded by some rich drama. Khan's left eye marking up. Lemons was bruised and battered from an early stage. His mouth now is in a bit of a mess. His nose is seeping blood as well. But bravely, this Scottish warrior still keeps going. Now, 
Khan is being told, taken back to his corner, and it's the glove. It's the, uh, it's the binding which has worked loose, and that gives Limond a few seconds in which to take advice from his corner. Limond would have needed those precious seconds, those invaluable seconds, just to regroup. But Khan as well has found a new burst of energy. Such bravery from Limond. Now that's no knockdown. Khan swinging himself off his feet as he tried to throw that right uppercut. Duke spoke about Khan and the dangers of him blowing himself out. And as his work rate just drops in the closing seconds of this round, although that face of Limond is just a, a mask of pain and blood, Khan may be himself also really feeling the pace of what's turning out to be a gruelling fight. Good work from Khan. Really good left hand. Great shot, and now it's Lennon who wants to hold on. Hey, fancy a circuit board X2000? I think I'll have one of those C2 circuit boards. That's right, half the strength, tastes great, and I like it. He's not wrong. <laughs> C2 circuit boards, also available as Largo. Drops in off the lip, nose forward, hanging 10 from behind the peak, drop through the back door, and bam, welcome to the green room. Tunnel love all the way, totally tubular. I'm really sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. The Nucleo by Rip Curl, for the surfer in you. here is all over. Willie Limond has been called off, has been pulled out by his own corner. They said that the bleeding around the mouth and the swelling around the eye was just too much. And Amir Khan celebrates victory. They signalled to the referee literally a second or so before you rejoined us that the fight was over. And Amir Khan is the new Commonwealth champion. But what a dramatic fight that was. And Willie Lemon showed that Khan, for all his talent, is still far from a finished story. He's a long way from the finished item. And Willie Lemon is taking a very, very sporting round of applause from the crowd. And look at that, Oliver Harrison, Khan's trainer, is carrying him round the ring. What a lovely mark of, of respect that is. And didn't he battle hard? His well, nose is broken, apparently. That was the reason given by the corner for getting him out of there, but his lips were gashed as well. His eye badly swollen. But Willie Lemon, he gave a real man's performance in there tonight, and Amir Khan has been given by a long, long way the hardest night of his professional career. Well, Lemon's played his part in what we can only describe, John, as quite an exciting fight. He had pretty much everything. We've had the cuts... We've had the drama with the knockdown, you know, a cleanly contested fight, but Lemon played his part, let's not forget that. He certainly did. And Khan goes across to the far side. That's his mother giving him a hug there. She looked a very anxious lady a couple of rounds ago, three rounds ago, when Khan was on the floor, and seemingly for the better part of three quarters of a minute, all over in place. Saj Mahmood, the fast bowler, the England bowler, his cousin is there as well. And apparently his jaws damaged Lemon's jaw as well, as well as his nose. So he really has taken a lot of punishment in there. But those two lads are going to be talking about this fight for a long, long time. 30, 40 years from now, when they're long, long past their boxing careers, they'll remember that, and they'll remember that moment as well, where they hug, and Willie Lemon says, you won a good fight there. But Amir Khan, I'm sure, will have said to him, you gave me one hell of a fight. Here's the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, before the commencement of round number nine, referee, 
Mr. Marcus McDonnell, having taken instructions from the doctor that Willie Lemond has broken his jaw and has accepted the retirement from Willie Lemond, therefore your winner and new lightweight champion of the Commonwealth and still undefeated from Bolton, Amir Khan. The celebrations the begin, a broken jaw, the reason for Willie Lemon's withdrawal. Listen to that cheer, which is specifically now for Willie Lemond. No disgrace in defeat. And Khan, for all the fights and all the anxious faces in his family there, he will have learnt a lot from that. Well, he's learned how to get up off the deck and turn a fight around, which shows a lot about fighting heart, John. We know he's got skill, speed, courage, but he showed a lot of fighting heart in there tonight. But, you know, let, let's get it right. You know, Willie Limond isn't the biggest puncher in the world, but he's hurt Khan. He did. He hurt him badly. For, for, for 30, 40 seconds, he was in a dangerous place, Amir Khan, and a bigger puncher might, just might, have put him away there. But he turned it around, as you say, Duke. He got off the canvas, and what a great round he produced in round seven. All over the place in round six. Got up, put his man down in round seven, and from then on, there was only going to be one winner. And Amir Khan has made his way now to our interview position, and he's with Jim Rosenthal. Amir, you've got the belt around your waist, but goodness me, how hard did you have to work to earn that? Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Very hard. Uh, this is a professional game now, you know what I mean? It's not, not going to be easy. First major title, I've only had, it's my 13th fight. And to do it, you know what I mean, he's wicked, Willie's a great fighter, you know what I mean, you can't take no credit away from him because he's a great, great fighter, you know what I mean, he's strong, he's kept going forward, he's skillful, but um, yeah, he enjoyed it, you know what I mean, I loved it in there, you know what I mean, no matter if it were 12 rounds, I was just loving it every minute of it, you know what I mean, I was getting over anxious, um, tried going in there knocking him out, but I had to remember, look, it's a 12 round fight. You I went can't... to the brink though, you went to the brink, at one stage it looked like you were going to lose that fight. Never, never, you know what I mean, I got caught with a shot. Not even when you were down? No, you know what I mean, that's boxing for you, you know what I mean, one change. It could have changed the fight, but it didn't, you know what I mean? That just shows I've got a good chin and I can come back from it, you know what I mean? I knew what was going on, you know what I mean? When I, when I did get up, I knew what was happening, you know what I mean? He was putting pressure on me, but I just had to compose myself and just pick the right shots. When you, you look at the video, you'll pick out a lot of mistakes, won't you? Oh, In yeah. Instantly, what do you feel didn't go right for you out there? I think the timing just wasn't there, you know what I mean? Like I said, I was over anxious just wanting to commit myself too much, you know what I mean? So for him, just jabbed and working myself inside. I was throwing combinations and running inside, which I made a mistake and got caught with that right hand. It just goes to show, though, Amy, you've still slightly got the L plates on. You've still oh, got a lot to learn in this you game. You know what I mean? Um, I'm still, this is all experience, you know what I mean? I've only had 13 fights. If it was 23 fights, then it's a different matter, you know what I mean? I'm going backwards, but I'm going the right way, you know what I mean? Massive entertainment, though, for everybody watching on oh, ITV1. Def definitely, you know what I mean? Mr. Entertainer. Everyone keeps saying, you know what I mean, we want, a, we want a good fight. But that's boxing for you, you know what I mean? Good fighters go down, come back up and knock the other person down. I did that. I'll just say one thing to you finally. The pros at ringside would recognise your achievement in coming back the next round from a knockdown like that. Oh, yeah, you know I mean, that's, that's... I've got hunger, you know what I mean? I wanted to get in there and win that title. I wanted that title more than Willie did, you know what I mean? That just proved it. Um, I was, I was bite, just biting my gum shield and getting in, you know what I mean? I was getting caught with shots, but I was still coming back. You know what I mean? At least I've shown that I can take shots and I come back even though when I am hurt. Great entertainment, Amir. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. I just want to say happy birthday to Danny and I want to thank everyone in London uh, for my first major title for coming down. Thank you very much. Well done. OK. Over we go to Barry McGuigan. Well, 